So it's that time of year again. Uh, technically, it's April 5th, but yesterday was April 4th, 2022. It's time to discuss Ruizing and really how Ruizing, at least my definition of Ruizing, has changed for me this past year. Stick around, stay tuned, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Hello all my friends there in YouTube land, it is your good buddy Philtastic Phil here, and I would like to welcome you back to my channel. So uh, before we jump into it, I am good to acknowledge, of course, I am a day late. I did actually film this video yesterday while on the run uh, with my son in the car, and it just didn't turn out to my liking. You know, I was wearing a mask because I'm still kind of getting over a little something. I don't want to get him sick. His little head was bobbing up and down in the video, and you know, as hilarious and as adorable as that is, I try to keep his face, if you haven't figured it out, uh, outside of uh, out of the videos. So I didn't want to uh, I didn't want to use that footage. Uh, that'll I'll probably just save as a private video to laugh at with my wife, uh, to be honest with you. But um, yesterday would have been Chef Carl Ruiz's 47th birthday. Uh, if you've seen my videos before, you know that uh, I am a big fan a big fan of uh, Carl's. Um, so much so I, I do have another. Instagram page I've spoken about in the past, uh, Ruiz of the Day, which I started initially just as a way when Carl was alive to, and I actually asked his permission, I had his blessing, to do kind of like a, like a quote of the day or an anecdote of the day, because I found that Carl had just some great messages really to give us, and he did it in a great, great way. Um, I was introduced to Carl through the Opie, uh, Opie radio show on Sirius XM, and then uh, later on, when Opie transitioned to podcasting, a big fan of the podcast, uh, I was lucky enough to actually do a little bit of artwork for the podcast early on. And um, that's really where Carl got my attention. Um, and I think part, it's partly because of Opie, because the topics, at least at that time, were more about everyday people. It wasn't your typical radio show where somebody would go on and, and try to sell their latest album or their latest film, or what have you. No, these were real people, maybe even Hollywood people, talking about real things that were affecting their lives. And to that notion, you couldn't have found a person realer than Carl. As I said, I was a big, big fan of Carl's. I am a big fan of Carl's. Um, but I do want to stress, I'd never met him personally. I'm not a friend of his. And if you were, uh, I hope that I don't offend you. I certainly don't want to speak uh, as an aficionado on all things Ruizing. This is just my perspective. Um, if you haven't been on my channel before, I did do uh, what I think is one of my favorite videos that I've done, to be honest with you, uh, on, on Ruizing last year. I'll put a link in the description so you can take a look at that. And I did a little tribute to Carl on his birthday last year as well. We, my wife and I made Italian hot dogs. So getting back on subject here, Ruizing traditionally, from what I understood, was about celebrating... Um, your passions in life, these things that you love and these things that you're drawn to, what what really sparks your creativity and what sparks your excitement. Um, now, Carl, you know, was a guy who he partied a lot, you know, he drank a lot, he ate a lot, uh, maybe not in the healthiest way, but that's OK. Ruizing doesn't really matter on how you do it or what I should say, maybe what you do it with. It's more on the subject matter itself and how it feels to your heart. And of course, as long as it's not hurting anybody. Um, I do want to say, though, in this past year, uh, if you've been watching my channel, you know I've had a couple of major life changes. Um, most notably so, of course, my little son, MT, who's upstairs sleeping right now. He's a month old. And of course, my world is totally upside down, but in a good way. And uh, really, Ruizing is something I've used not only to get my priorities straight as far as, you know, being the head of the household, being the breadwinner, but um, also really kind of redefining and refocusing on the things that I enjoy and enjoying them in such a different way that it, it feels new, it feels fresh. Um, recently, I had a video up talking about my goals, for example, and I was beginning to tell you, look, my wife was expecting at the time. So, you know, I got to cut back on my pull list. You know, I have to really focus in on 
the things that uh, the titles that I want to read because honestly there's just there are just too many stories out there and you know you get to a point you read every single story you're going to forget a few of them I mean, I could tell you when comics were a little bit cheaper maybe 10 15 years ago at one point I was getting every single Avengers title um, and this is just after that big explosion of Avengers titles you had you know Avengers Mighty Avengers Secret Avengers uh, uh, what else was there? Was there like Astonishing Avengers or something? Uncanny Avengers, that was it. Um, I think I even had a couple issues of Pet Avengers because the store owner at the time was like, well, you like all the other Avengers titles, figure it throw it in here. Um, so, you know, because the price was lower, I wasn't spending um, more than I was spending prior to me cutting back on my polls. That's a whole nother topic though. So recently this week, I was kind of faced with uh, a decision. If you've watched this channel, you know that I'm also a very big fan of the artist by the name of Mike Del Mundo. It's actually another one of my favorite videos. I'll link in here because uh, I'm most proud of that video. And if you haven't seen it, click on it. Maybe you might learn something. Um, and uh, Mike hasn't had a whole lot of Marvel or DC covers out there recently because I try to hunt them down voraciously. Uh, when they do come out. And one slipped under my radar. The most recent, and I think it's the penultimate uh, uh, issue of uh, Demon Days X-Men, Peach Momoko's excellent story, um, came out and, and Del Mundo had a variant for it. Slipped under my radar. So um, this past weekend was my LCS's 40th anniversary. I didn't really have time to poke around and hunt for things that maybe missed my pile. Um, just a lot of people good people, but, you know, with the kid and, and everything, I, I, I don't want to be around a bunch of crowds. So I was pretty much in and out, to be honest with you. Um, when I got home and realized, hey, I missed a variant, I reached out to the LCS owner and he said, hey, look, uh, I think it was a variant ratio, I did, a ratio variant rather, I didn't get it myself. But um, I said, all right, no problem. I went online and I found it pretty quickly from Midtown. And, um, you know, the variant itself, I hadn't seen it. When I did see it, it just didn't speak to me. I guess you could say, like a lot of Del Mundo's other work. You know, Del Mundo, one of the things I appreciate about it is his covers have a character and a personality. To be honest with you, maybe this is a little left field or whatnot, if Carl Ruiz was, uh, Chef Carl Ruiz was ever in a comic, I would want Mike to do the art. It was just like, it's that similar kind of vibe. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about as far as that goes, if you're just interested in Ruizing and don't know anything I just said in the past five minutes regarding comics, just look up Mike Del Mundo, and, uh, and I think you'll understand what that vibe I'm talking about. Um, anyway, yeah, this, this cover just didn't sing to me. And uh, I was still considering it. I took a look at it. 20 bucks from Midtown, which 20 bucks isn't a whole lot of money. But I weighed a couple things. First of all, if you order something from Midtown Comics, you know, they do have a little bit of a higher shipping rate, in my opinion at least, uh, so usually when I buy from them, I'll try to buy a few things. I'll try to fill some back issues, that kind of thing. So a $20 book is never a $20 order. It, you know, that's going to quickly turn into a $60 or $70 order, whatever it is to meet the free uh, shipping threshold. I even think it might be 100 at this point. But anyway, um, so there was that consideration. And then I said, All right, well, what if I just ordered that cover? Just $20 plus shipping and handling. So even without shipping... $20 for a single issue, I really waited, and I said, you know, I could take that same $20, and I could put that towards something better, my son, you know, I can get a case of formula, just like an eight pack, for less than 20 bucks, and then I was like, yeah, you know what, I could skip this, I don't need that, um, so how does that tie into Ruiz, and well, I'm still passionate about comics. I still love Mike DeMondo art, but you know, right now my priority is to my family, especially that little boy up there. And um, he's my new focus. He's my thing to get excited about. He's my Ruizing, and it, as it should be. Um, I'll give you another example that has zero to do with comics, but I promise you I'll at least try to tie it all in together. Another example of Ruizing. And maybe these are lessons that I would have learned without Carl, to be honest with you. Maybe these are just things that change with maturity. Um, though some, most of my parents would argue that I, I would have to be a mature person for that to come around. That's either here nor there. 
but uh, a few years ago, and I'm I'm going to kind of beat around the bush with this story a little bit just to give you a heads up because um, I, I don't want to give out the names and whatnot. I don't want to hurt people. My wife and I were involved with a charitable organization. Um, I was a member for 10 years. In fact, I was pretty high up on the chain. I did a lot of, you know, charity work, community work, and that's why I was there. I wasn't there for necessarily the social uh, experience of it. Um, I'm not a big drinker. Um, I am going to assert that there are a good amount of people who were there for other reasons that maybe weren't charitable. And look, I've always been like, look, if you're going to do your thing, that's fine. As long as you don't impede or, or bother me while I'm doing my thing. So uh, my wife jumped in head first when we were going out and uh, before we were engaged, of course. And uh, she actually ran a very successful fundraiser, raised about, I think it was like close to $6,000 in one evening, which for this organization uh, on this size was unheard of. Um, so fast forward a couple weeks, um, actually probably a couple months. We were married already, I remember that. Um, we were, I was gonna meet my wife at my mom's house and we were gonna have dinner. So my wife came in and she said that somebody there, one of the bar flies, said some unkind words to her. Now, this past weekend you saw the whole thing with Will Smith jumping up and smacking Chris Rock up on stage. I can tell you something, I get that because my reaction was I'm heading over there right now. And I would have gone over there to be honest with you, but my wife and my mom took my keys <laughs> and my wife promised me, made me promise I wouldn't do anything brash. I did call over there and the guy was gone already. So um, unlike Will Smith, I tried to handle it in a different manner. And um, really the people in charge who should have at least given us the respect of hearing us out and trying to talk through it um, didn't care to. So at that point, um, my wife and I had a discussion. It was apparent there was some other things going on too, but it was apparent that we were putting out more respect uh, than we were getting. And it just uh, was starting to impede the way that we felt about the organization that we, you know, again, we were all there for charity. So we stepped away from it. So what does that have to do? Uh, again, up until this point, my passions in life were family, my wife, uh, comics. Comics has been there for a long time. And charity, helping others. And at that point, I, I don't know if you want to notch it off and say, well, the experience I had with this organization soured me enough where I was like, forget about the charity end of it. But um, at that point in my mind, as a man, I was faced with the thing like, look, I have to do right by my wife and step away. Because if we're not getting what we're putting out, then what's the use? Um, so again, my focus, my reason, my passion, uh, it, it didn't go away for charity. We still, we don't volunteer, but we still contribute in ways um, whenever possible. Look, I just ran a contest where one of the prizes, if the person wants to, they still haven't gone back to me yet, could be as I'll donate to a charity of your choice. And that's the second time I've done that as a prize because I think it's a great prize. Um, and I think helping others is always a, uh, a great aim. Uh, and it's something we should all focus to do. But I'm getting off topic. Um, so again, I, I, I guess the overall theme of the evening, what I'm focusing on as far as Ruizen goes and what I've been doing this year is, I guess you could say Ruizen responsibly. I'm passionate about comics. I'm passionate about helping others. I'm passionate about my family. But my family will always win out to comics. And I think that's the way it should be. Um, at the same time, I'm not stepping away from comics, obviously. This is why I have this channel. And um, I think that that's an important part of Ruizing as well, because it's not just about, I like doing this and I'm going to talk about this. No, it's about sharing your experiences and commiserating. And even, you know, you, you find yourself, I, I remember, I, I, th I think back to when my wife and I went to the uh, Pig Beach event a couple years ago at this point. And 
if you were to step back and look at that crowd, it was really a diverse bunch of people, but they were all there because of their passion for Carl and for Ruiz. And that is Carl's legacy. And that's what I keep to my heart. Not, you know, the, what I'm focusing on is having fun, doing it in a responsible manner where it's not going to have your world crashing down necessarily. And, um, really sharing that experience I shouldn't say sharing, not sharing. No, that's two passes. That's not what Carl would have done. It would be about celebrating it. Because look, Carl was the kind of guy, it wasn't just about good food, good drink, having a good time. It was about making others feel good. And that is kind of what's been in the back of my head when I do these videos. I try to avoid doing any kind of negative videos. Um, for that reason, who wants to hear somebody complain? You know, it's the internet. You could throw a stick and hit 10 videos about somebody complaining about something useless. No, let's celebrate these things that we embrace and enjoy. And you know what, too? In celebrating these other aspects of stuff, like our family and whatnot, um, we can just tie that all in together even more so. Um, I don't know, just like a beautiful kind of mesh about it. So I know I stumbled a lot in this conversation. I may be going a couple other directions here, but I want to leave you with this tonight. What is Ruizing to me? How has it made me a better husband, a better comic book collector, a better person, and hopefully a pretty good father? I'm still a month out. Give me some slack. Ruizing has enabled me and these things that Carl talked about, these stories that unbridled enthusiasm for life reminds me that, you know what? You're going to sit and you're going to work a job for your life. Hopefully it's something that you enjoy. But on the other side of that coin, you better make damn sure that that job enables you to do things that you love doing with the people that you love and celebrating it, hopefully, with the people who are close to your heart. Um, so until then, you will still continue to see my Ruizing hat on every single video uh shouldn't say until then until next year i guess um i did do my car ruiz picture for this particular year again i i don't sell car ruiz art i've said this in the past i feel a certain way about people who make money off of others images you know if you're doing it for charity that's a whole other thing but um and i'm not saying anything bad about any personalities anybody who's done t-shirts or anything like that no um I do think that there's some people on Etsy who, quite frankly, should be ashamed of themselves. That's just my opinion. We're not going to go there. Um, if you do like the artwork I have done of Carl, either on Ruiz of the Day or on my uh, my Instagram page I plug at the end of the channel every time, you're free to use it. Free to you know, make a T-shirt out of it. I'm not. I don't. I'm not interested in making any money off of it. If somebody legitimately, legitimately wants to say, Phil, I want to reproduce your image and give the money to charity, let's talk. But other than that, you're free to use that picture how you want. Just don't make money, money off of it. Use it for yourself and use it for free. Use it freely, I should say, I guess. Anyway, before I get totally off track, I want to thank you again for checking out this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If so, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. Share this video if you haven't already. And subscribe, please. Look, I'm trying to get to 100 viewers, that's 100 subscribers, rather. It really, would really help me out and um, hopefully help kind of grow our little community here. But thank you again for checking out this video. I do appreciate it. Hope that you enjoy the rest of your evening. Peace, love, and comics. Take care.